everyone, it's Lily or Cool Rice Bunnies, and today I'm doing my polymer clay charm slash craft update number 18. I'm really excited to show you guys what I've made, and it's been a super long time since I've done an update. So yeah, and before I get started with this video, I would like to say a huge thank you to you guys for helping me reach over 60,000 subscribers. Um, I know I say thank you a lot. I'm always posting things on my social networking accounts. Um, I'm always like putting things in the description boxes saying how much I appreciate you guys. But just as another friendly reminder, I really do appreciate all of you and to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I hope you guys all like the videos that I'm going to be putting out this year. Um, again, please keep in mind, I am juggling being a full-time college student and, you know, doing YouTube. So if I ever have any gaps between my videos or if I'm gone for a little bit, just understand I'm probably focusing on college and schoolwork. So yeah, um, basically that's it. Thank you guys so much for helping me reach this great milestone and let's just get started with the update. So um, the first couple of charms that I'm going to show you guys are all tutorial um, related things that have been posted on the Sweet Tutorials collab channel. And one of the first things I made was this uh, Nyanko kitty hiding in a turkey. And I made this around the holiday time and like Thanksgiving. And I made this last year around the holiday times, but I thought it was about time that I did tutorial a uh, tutorial on it. So I will link it down below. And this is just what it looks like. The next thing that I made was this Rilakkuma in a New Year's kind of Eve outfit. And he is made with gold polymer clay. I gave him a little sash that says 2014 and this is his little top hat. He's super festive. I think he came out really cute. This is what the back looks like. And yeah, um, the tutorial for this will be linked down below again, like all the other tutorials that I'm going to mention. Um, these next ones are these vintage looking otter charms. Um, I really like how these turned out. They're accented with black acrylic paint and they're done with silver polymer clay. I really like them because they actually do look like metal charms. Um, when you see them in person, they just honestly, they look really nice. And otters are just super cute. So this is just what they look like. And I like this one because it's tail is crooked. These next charms I made a tutorial for on my own channel and it was actually recently posted so if you want to check that out I will leave the description, I'll leave the link in the description box down below but um, they are just these little kawaii um, lucky red envelope charms in celebration for the Chinese or Lunar New Year and this is what the designs look like that I painted on. So um, for those of you who are wondering I am Vietnamese and I do celebrate the Lunar New Year so um, I just thought it would be really nice to make these again and do a tutorial on them. And I love the way that the face turned out. I think it's super cute. And that is what those look like. Next, I made some baked goods. So the first couple of things that I made were these character themed um, frosted cookies. And I will show you them one by one. This one is Mamagoma. Everything here was done with clay. Um, I really love the way it turned out. Here's the back. So they have these little pins on them that you can either pin them like on your book bag or your shirt or anything. And then this little back piece just clips right on and secures it. So um, this is really cute. I really like how it turned out. And I do have a tutorial on how to make polymer clay frosting like that. So I'll leave that tutorial down below. Um, this next one here is just Rilakkuma. And I put little gold micro marbles on his ears. And it took me forever to come up with a color combination to make Rilakkuma's fur color. I don't even remember what I used for this. Like, his brown fur is such a distinct color. It's just so hard to get sometimes. Um, again, it has a little pin on it, though, and this is what that looks like. And then I think my favorite cookie out of these three is this one. And it is Chapeau from Sentimental Circus. And I just love how it turned out. Um... The little dots over here are micro marbles, and here is the back, and this is just what it looks like. I really love it a lot. I just love the way it turned out and everything. Next, I made some cupcakes. I recently got micro marbles, and I wanted to try them out. So here are the top of the cupcakes. I have these two um, vanilla, well, they're all vanilla, but they're just different. So this is like a citrusy themed one. And it has an orange cupcake wrapper 
with some creamy looking icing. It kind of looks really washed out and white on camera, but it is like an off yellow color. I put micro marbles on it and then there are these lemon cane slices on the top. Um, this one's pretty similar also, but it just has all orange micro marbles. And then this one is a green one. So it has a green wrapper, light green frosting, some green micro marbles, and a little leaf that is made out of polymer clay. So that's what those look like. And I think they're really cute and fun. I don't know. <laughs> then I tried to call out my inner sugar charm shop by making some French macaron charms. And this is what they look like. Um, I love Sugar Charm Shop and her channel. Her creations are amazing. So I tried making some macaron cookies using her tutorial that I will link down below for you guys. But this is just what they ended up looking like. I really like them a lot. Um, I like how they're not super perfect looking, so they do look realistic to me. And the tops are just dusted with some chalk or soft pastels like she did in the tutorial. So I really like these a lot. And then I also made another smaller pink one, and this one was actually used, um, I actually used Puff Teak's kind of method of making little macaron cookies, um, and they both came out really nice. So I will link both tutorials down below, and they have little eye pins, or head pins on them, and they're so cute. I also made some of these mint colored ones, and these are fatter. <laughs> they're fatter and taller, I should have squished them out a little bit more, but um, I still think they're really cute and nicely made. So this is just what they look like, and I really hope you guys can see everything. I feel like the lighting is washing out everything that I have, but um, yeah. So the next things are just some, I don't know, random stuff. This is a keychain that I made for my friend Chrissy. She wants to be a pharmacist, so she asked me if I could make her a little pill bottle. So I did, so here's what the pill bottle looks like. It's very, very cute, um, very simple and adorable. I love the face. And then I made a little pill to go along with it. And then on it, I have this little envelope metal charm that actually says made with love. And I got these little charms from um, craftroyal.com. So if you want to add those to any of your creations, I think they add a really nice touch. And I will leave their shop link down below for you guys. This is a previous resin piece that I showed in my last resin update, and I really love it a lot. Um, I added a heart bale to the back, and then I attached it onto this keychain. So, as you guys can see, um, the first things you see is this little um, thing, and it says Amy on it. So these are just alphabet beads that I strung on, and then I put on some pearl beads here, and then again, here's another metal charm that says Made with Love. And this one is just a heart one. And this is going to Little Surprises YT. And I put a lobster clasp on it because I am sending her like other resin pieces um, that she can attach on however she likes. But this is just what the keychain looks like. And I really love how it turned out. I think it's super cute and personalized and just very adorable. Another resin keychain that I finished was this one. So this is just my Kiratori piece. I added an eye screw. I just screwed it right in and then I put it on a little chain and I added the pearl beads here and I also have another one of those envelope charms that say made with love. And yeah, that's what that one looks like. I'm gonna rearrange this stuff for a second, hold on. This is a charm that I made before but it is just this little octopus charm. <laughs> it's a green little octopus with a bow on its head and I just attached it onto a ring base. So um, it's really, really cute. And that's just what this looks like. Really adorable. I love it so much. And then I have some little glass bottle charms. So this one was a fail. Um, I got the glass bottles from craftroyal.com and I decided to put some of these cane slices in it. And I, it's a fail because I put water in it and I really didn't think about the fact that the water is just slowly going to disappear over time. And it already has. It used to be like filled up to here but now the water's like halfway. I should have put baby oil in it or something, but um, yeah, now I know for next time. And the cork's already sealed in with glue, so I can't take it off and redo it, but it's still a really cute idea, and I really like how it turned out. It's just really simple and cute. And then another glass bottle charm that I made was this one, and it's just filled with these really gorgeous pastel-colored uh, pearl beads. 
and then attached to it I have this little metal key and then attached to that it's on a purple um, phone strap. So I got the metal key and the beads and the bottle from craftroyal.com and this was actually inspired from their YouTube channel. They, I think they have a tutorial on how to make something like this so I decided to make it and I will link their channel in that video down below. Um, the purple phone strap is just something I bought from my local craft store. But yeah, I think this is really cute. It's really simple and whimsical kind of looking. And um, I just really like how that turned out also. And then something really awesome that I made were these um, fake or faux like gauge or plug style earrings that are tentacles. So the way that this works is it's just a post earring kind of thing and I glued the post to the front piece so this is the piece that goes in front of my earlobe and then this is the piece that you know goes behind it and when you're wearing it it looks like the tentacles actually going through your entire earlobe and I will post a picture of me wearing them um, but yeah this these are really awesome. These are a really popular thing that a lot of people actually make with polymer clay. Um, you can find them a lot on Etsy and just Instagram and just all these things. People are always making tentacle earrings, but I really wanted to finally make my own pair, and I kind of combined my little um, using black acrylic paint to make it look a little rusted and old. And I really like how that looks. If you want to know how to make these, Nerdy Crafter here on YouTube actually has a great tutorial on these. And I will link them down below. And you can learn how to make them. But they're fairly simple. And they're really fun to make. And they turn out looking really cool. So if you like funky jewelry like I do, um, you guys can go check out that video and learn how to make them. Then with some scrap clay that I had, I just made these really plain black and white earrings. Um, this is a, like a pair that's supposed to go together and they're just, you know, some scrap clay that I made and I decided these would be really nice looking earrings. So I put some earring hooks on them and they look really nice. I like how they're black and white. It's just different and they're not matching, but they are, if you know what I mean. So those are just some earrings that I made. And then lastly, if you guys follow me on my Instagram account, you know that I recently got some female effect colors and I just wanted to make some test out things just to see how they turned out. So these are the female effect colors that are like the quartz or the stone themed ones. And so this one right here, they're so pretty. This is the rose quartz one. And they're like pearly and iridescent and a little translucent and really sparkly. This is the Blue Ice Quartz Female Effects color, and it's just so gorgeous. They're a lot prettier in person than they are appearing to be on camera. And finally, this is the Jade Stone Female Effect color, and I really like it. I regret they had a yellow one too. I think it was called like Citrus Stone or Citrus Quartz or something like that. Um, I really should have gotten it, but these are just super gorgeous, and I love them very much. And I just used a bow mold that I had to make these little test pieces. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this update. My camera is about to die, so I should probably wrap up this video. Um, again, any videos or channels that I mentioned in this update will be in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what was your favorite thing from this update. And yeah, thank you guys so much again for over 60,000 subscribers. Um, I love you guys so much, and that's pretty much it. I will talk to you soon. Bye.